I'm Nick Paley. Today we're at Stone Hills Mori Vineyard and we're mechanically pruning Traminette. Before we start mechanically pruning, we go through and we do our wood weights and find our pruning formula to come up with the number of buds we want to retain and then we double it for mechanical pruning. Doubling it allows us to come back later and balance our crop in case there is a freeze or extreme cold weather, anything along those lines, it's an insurance factor built in. Also before we start hedging, we've gone through and we've done our bud mortality and figured that into our pruning formula and we've gone through and done all of our uh, cordon extending. You do that first, that way any extensions don't get cut off by the machine when you go through. This is the same tractor and trailer we use all year long. We basically just attach different heads to it. Right now we have our mechanical pruning head. It's a sprawl head made for high wire. They offer a different head for VSP and then a separate head for liar. And basically it just unbolts from the frame here and then you have a six hydraulic hoses. You take off and put your next head on, your shoot thinning head or your combing head or your fruit thinning head on. All right, this is our mechanical pruning head. It's adjustable both width and height for different varieties. Uh, these slide all the way out to the ends. This bar will raise up and these discs can raise down to make a larger box for a variety you want to leave or retain more buds in. With our mechanical pruning trailer, we drive at 0.7 miles per hour and we do two rows at a time. It takes three people, one guy to drive the tractor, then one guy to work the right side head and one guy to work the left side head. So basically on these we're leaving 85 buds per shoot. That's twice of what we would normally leave and then after we go through with the machine we, we set our box size to get the number we want close and then we go through with a hand touch up later to cut out any dead wood, any runners, any kind of anomalies like that that we don't want left on the cordon. When we mechanically prune, we leave everything. We don't put any spacing in it. And then later we'll come through with the chute thinner and thin some out to get to the chutes per foot that we'd want. The reason you wouldn't put spacing in it is one, it'd be really hard to go through and put that in. And then two, when your chute thinner comes through and you have them spaced, you might knock off the one you left and then you'd leave a spot with nothing in it. So this way it's real consistent per foot. You have the same amount of chutes and you can reduce your crop level the same amount every foot.
With our touch-up trailer, it takes anywhere from three people to five people. We'll have one driver and a guy on each side, and then sometimes we'll have two extra guys to cut rakes. Our touch-up trailer usually runs around 0.3 miles per hour. Uh, sometimes we go down every single row, so the touch-up guy has two tries to get his plant to where we need it. Then on other varieties like Traumanet, we just go every other row. This block's a Traumanet block. It gets a, a pretty small box pruned on it, and they go downward pretty well. So there's not a whole lot of touch-up. I, I get these pretty close to where I want them, which is 85, and then the touch-up is very minor. On different varieties like Mignol, you prune a, a lot larger box and then you'll go through in your touch-up trailer, you'll remove a lot of secondary wood and you'll have two extra guys on the touch-up trailer that have come back and remove rachises. On Concord, it's another variety we have here at this farm, you also leave a big box and it's mainly because of the number of buds you want to retain. On Concord, you want to retain a lot of buds early and then come back later and make your final adjustment with your fruit thinning.